Hey, it's Mike over at FisherAssOff.com and today what I'm talking about is what is the best size weight of spoon when you're surf fishing? So when you're surf casting off the beach, you know, sometimes the conditions are going to warrant bigger or smaller uh, spoons and the actual species you're targeting are going to warrant bigger and smaller spoons too. So let's just go ahead and cover that. Uh, so here's my answer. My answer is the size and weight spoon you need is basically a half ounce to three ounces and those could go anywhere from a two ounce, uh, I mean a two inch to maybe even a four inch um, spoon. We'll pretty much cover cover everything you need to do, at least here in Florida where I am. That'll catch you just about everything. So it depends upon the species. Okay. So let's say you're fishing for Spanish mackerel. You don't need a big spoon. You can get away with something, you know, like one of these. These are little half ounce or three eighths ounce spoons. You just want to put a barrel swivel on the front of them and you're good to go. I mean, these ones are cheap. These are Johnson, but you do have to add a barrel swivel or you just spin up your line with something like that. Those are, those are little ones for smaller fish. Those are going to catch you snook. Those are going to catch you tarpon. Those are going to catch you uh, Spanish mackerel, bluefish, any jacks, all that stuff swimming there. So just a little spoon like that is just fine if you're going for uh, fish that are close in, uh, real close to the beach. So that'll be just fine. Now, it depends upon the conditions too. Let's say it's really rough. Well, you're probably going to need more spoon uh, because the turbid water, you know, the turbulent water is going to mess everything up. You're probably going to need more spoon. Also need to take into consideration the underwater topography. One of my favorite places to fish is a real rocky reef. So if you're fishing with spoons, you're going to lose a lot of spoons unless you go with something weedless. And here's one of the weedless ones I like to use. Now this is me when I'm targeting snook mostly, sometimes some tarpon, but usually snook. This is a great spoon for that because you can pitch it out there in the rocks and a lot of times the snook and different predators are going to be waiting in, inside a, a hole in the reef and you can bounce that thing right in there and get yourself a nice snook. So it depends on the underwater topography too, what kind of, uh, of spoon you're going to need. So, and also the tides. So at a high tide, a lot of times the fish are closer to you. So you don't need to cast out as far, but a low tide, you're going to have to cast way out there to get to them. So here's a, a kind of a drawing of mine that's a standard beach, okay? And this standard beach, you got a sandbar, here's the beach, and let's say it's 60 yards between the beach and the sandbar. Okay, and these axes are a different spot you might be catching fish. So if, if, if you want to cast all of that to the sandbar, you might need two, three ounces to get out there. And in my area, you can catch kingfish inside this sandbar and even cobia way out there. You can catch all these other fish too, tarpon, snook, Spanish mackerel, pompano, bluefish. But you, know, you got to be able to really get out there. It depends on where the bite is, where the fish at, where the feeding fish at, more importantly. So here's another zone right here. So let's say that there's the first third and the two thirds and then all the way out is where you're fishing. Well, if you're fishing right here, you, you can downsize everything. You don't even need a surf rod. You can just use your regular whatever rod to be able to get to those fish because you only got to cast 30, you only got to cast 30, 40 yards. So you, you can use a smaller uh, spoon for that. So, it's, I guess the answer, you know, it's, a, it's kind of a hard answer because it depends on what you're fishing for. I fish with small spoons because I'm fishing for tarpon and snook usually uh, when I'm doing that. And they will hit a small spoon. You know, those uh, five, six foot tarpon might be feeding on a little bitty minnow or something that's this big. So you can catch a huge fish with a little bitty spoon. So it just depends. It just depends. But spoons are great. You know, you can catch all of these fish right here fishing with spoons in Florida. And if you have a selection, you know, half ounce up to three ounces, you're covered. You know, you're never really gonna need the three ounces. You might sometimes, but you know, you don't, you don't need a lot of spoons. And spoons catch everything too. 
And the great thing about spoons is they start to rust, right? The chrome peels off. You can just use some steel wool and shine them right back up. Let's say it all peels off. So what? You can respray paint those. Get that really good, like, uh, rust, rust oleum, some of those spray paints. You can spray paint it right back up, make it white or black ones are good too. You know, different colored spoons are great. Spoons are a great lure. They're a very simple lure. They catch just about everything. I've caught sheep's head on lures, croakers, you know, all kinds of things, whitings that you wouldn't really expect to catch on one of these, these kind of, uh, you know, these kind of spoons here. So you, they'll catch just about everything. Inshore, off the beach, offshore. Spoons are a great lure. <laughs> Learn how to use spoons and you'll catch a lot of fish. I can tell you that right now. But uh, I hope I answered that question about, you know, what's the size, it, you know, it depends. But if you have a half ounce up to three ounce, you're covered, you're covered. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. I would just have a couple of each and you'll be good to go. So I hope that answers the question. So until next time, we'll see you then. All right, bye-bye.